I have changed. I have changed my direction. I think after after about a year now, it, well, it has been a year, um, I'm really kind of coming to a bit of a realization around art, fine art specifically. Okay. Uh, and if you, if you really want to, well, for me, I'm finding that my work, because of how uniquely creative it is, uh, it's in a very small bubble. And trying to find people to purchase it at a price that I can actually survive on is tough. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I've had a lot of, uh, like the piece behind me here, um, I wanted to market that at 25000 in the gallery in Toronto. Because galleries take 50% commission on everything that they sell, mm. uh, I needed to at least make out $10,000 for my time and effort and everything that went into making the piece so that I had, uh, you know, operating capital so I could keep going, essentially. And they came back and told me, well, a piece of this size in our gallery sells for $6,000. And if we were to split that and then I took all my costs out of it, I would have been making somewhere in a range of about $7 an hour. So ultimately that, as much fun as it was to be in the gallery and to do the work and to really push myself to produce something really unique and interesting, there wasn't a lot of money in that direction. Yeah. What? Yes, they could sell it, but they couldn't sell it for enough to keep me in business. I was going to not make any money. And I wasn't willing to sell it for that price. So we actually ended up settling on twelve, twelve thousand dollars. Okay. Which is double what they usually sell it for. But six thousand at least would have paid me a living wage. Uh, and in the end, she did have a she had a nibble, and uh, somebody was interested in buying it. And she did have to drop the price a little bit to try to make it a bit more enticing. But mm -hmm. in the end, they decided not to buy it. So I get to have it now. I get to hang it right. on my wall. I was going to say, clearly, the story ends with it's behind you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not ideal, but it happens. Um, well, and that, you know, that makes me wonder, too. I mean, I was specifically thinking of that. Like you said, it took you three weeks to do it. And yeah. you're selling it. And it's like, that's the thing is during that time period. And you are, you said you were producing more art, but like still three weeks in putting out one piece of work. That's the part that always gets me. Whereas do you also do things like you sell cheaper versions as prints and all that kind of stuff on your, your store? I know you used to do t-shirts. I don't know if you're still doing those to this day or if you just have the ones that you did before. Uh, yes and no. Again, I, I, it's, it's been one of those sort of like good, bad type things. Yeah. So I've been producing, been producing the work and, and I, I think it's a higher quality of what I've been able to do. Mm -hmm. Um, but I haven't been able to find the sales channels to, to sell it. Uh, and the same thing with my t-shirts and my prints and things like that. It's all on my website. It's all there. It's mm -hmm. all ready for people and people look at it, but people aren't buying it. So I've been having a hard time selling what I do to the public, even at a, even at a low price point. Um, I'm finding that the work is not resonating with people. So um, that's been a, a, a bit of a, a hard pill to swallow. Uh, my my work with the gallery, which was mo the most recent thing that I did, uh, that was back in August, kind of got my wheels spinning. And it made me sort of think that after all that effort, if there's still no money, even in a commercial gallery setting, for me to do this work, and I'm having difficulties selling it myself and finding the right people to buy it, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? You know, um, you can sort of keep smacking your head against that wall. And I think some people end up breaking through it and you do find what you're looking for. But I started running down in my head sort of the list of things that I could do in order to change my my avenue of attack, essentially. Like what? Well, things like moving, essentially. So leaving Cambridge and going to somewhere more art-focused. Oh. That being like New York City, like going going somewhere where the movers and shakers are and you can go to the gallery openings and you can shake people's hands and you can meet Eventually. people and get to know, right? <laughs> it, it, it's the same idea of like, if you want to be a Hollywood, if you want to be an actor, you go to Hollywood, you go to where they make the movies, you know? So I thought about that kind of idea. Mm -hmm. um, I've also thought about, you know, completely reskinning what I do and the work that you see here. Um, that's for me. I do that for me, but then I come I'm going to create something else 
a different style of artwork which will be more commercially feasible. Um, so I, I did uh, the artwork for that the board game that uh, we talked about last time. Which we're going to get to because I still want to find out about that because that's also one of the things you did. <laughs> well, that's 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 where I'm heading now. That's that's right. my new direction. But we'll get there. Yeah. Um, but in that in the game in the um, in the artwork, I put together flowers and fireworks as as a visual image inside of the game. And I thought about that. I thought just take those images, put fireworks and flowers together. Uh, gigantic, big paintings. You know. Uh, do it loose, do it rough, make it fast. Yeah. And throw, you know, people like flowers, people like colorful things. Let's work with that and try to make it fast, inexpensive, and appealing. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and don't worry about whether or not it necessarily meets your artistic ideal. It, it's, you know, it's, I'm, I put my soul on a canvas and I got crickets. So it's, you know, it's sort of right. from the financial side of things, if you want to make money, you have to buy something that people want. And over the last year, barring the one gentleman from Quebec and that other gentleman from Italy, it's been, it's been tough trying to find people who are really engaging with my work. So that's the other, the other avenue of attack is you change, you change your, you change your output, whatever, whatever that is. If that thing's not working, we need to mm -hmm. rethink it. 